Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to see that around half of us have the experience of SuperGIS. On the list, we can see many popular software solutions. I would like to say that SuperGIS combines the merits of commercial GIS software and open source solutions, which are strong functionality and high cost efficiency. So thank you for your support. Uh, in case any of you just joined us, don't worry, we will share the whole webinar recording on video with you. Now let's continue the second part of our webinar, Eva. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, then we just continue with the third case that to uh, to view GIS data in PDF format. That uh, with our uh, SuperGIS data version 3.2 that you can uh, to export our GIS data into PDF format. Like uh, you can create a map for the field text things that you can use um, your spatial PDF to view the GIS data with coordinates like the uh, figure shows in the left on the left hand side that we can export the map to PDF and then bring uh, your PDF file with maybe with your tablet into your tablet and integrate with the real-time GPS signal and then to uh, to check the information. Okay, so uh, the function is actually is look uh, in the, our SuperGIS toolkit under the category conversion tools and to PDF, and it is called map to PDF. And remember, you need to save uh, as our project file as GD file. So. Uh, after you uh, change, maybe your change set up for some symbology and maybe labeling, you need to save a SGD file and then use this function map to PDF and then specify the, uh, the location, the path for the SGD file. And then uh, this one is important, uh, select the output mode. The default setting is by layers. But if you are going to have more detailed information, I would suggest you to select uh, the by features mode. Um, by features mode, by features mode, it means that you can do the query by each of the features. So uh, if you are going to have more details, uh, use this one by features. So uh, after you export the uh, GIS data into PDF format that you can view the geospatial PDF by uh, the PDF reader. There are some tools that you can use. Maybe uh, the first one is that you can use the query by using uh, the object data tool. You can uh, using the keyword to find. We call, uh, maybe we call it uh, attribute query. And also you can use our spatial query. You can use the spatial query just by click on map to select the features. And also you can use the measuring tool, the distance, or to, uh, to, to calculate the parameter or to calculate the area. And also it will include in the geospatial location. It means that it will display the, um, the coordinate of your mouse according, uh, uh, based on the map, based on the PDF, geospatial PDF. So uh, another one is that you can bring the PDF into your mobile device, maybe like a tablet that you, you can view the geospatial PDF by mobile device, like this one. Uh, you can check for the, uh, you can do the measurement and like the, uh, the line in orange here, you can do the measure to uh, calculate the distance or you can uh, integrate with the G GPS signal. So uh, you can check uh, where you are located while you are bring your tablet into the field and bring the PDF format, uh, PDF file with you in the field. So this is the uh, function that to help users to export the GIS data into PDF format. And there are some functions that you can use in the PDF reader. Okay, so let we go uh, go on with the next case is to do the 
rectify on image data that is can help users to give the raster data a correct position like uh, the figure on the left hand side here the, this one you can see this is uh, with the this is locating now with the correct coordinate so with our georeferencing tool you can uh, give the raster data a correct position and here in the version 3.2 we have more function maybe like uh, rotate instant rotate and instant shift for and also the scale so we can help user to do the rectify more faster like this one this is uh, our new uh, georeferencing tool like this we will have the function flip horizontal or flip vertical and to do uh, the auto adjust and maybe you can to say reset the transformation so um, to do the, while doing the rectified it is important that you need to set up for at least four pairs of control points and then you can do the rectify to give the uh, the wrong image a correct coordinate the concept is like this uh, the figures on the left hand side is not have a correct coordinate so you need to have a best GIS data, a reference GIS data like the figure shows on the right hand side and then you need to add the control points one by one maybe add the, this one at first and then switch to the reference GIS data add another uh, add the corresponding control points and then add the second pairs and then go to the reference GIS database uh, go to the reference GIS data to add another one control point and then at least you need at least four pairs of control points then you can do the data rectify on your um, raster data so this is um, how you can do the your data referencing with our um, new georeferencing tool. So let me pass the time to Sarah.